YouTube, what's going on? Happy Monday night. Hopefully, uh, y'all had a good start to your week. Um, so what we're looking at here is a Tomica Premium. Well, obviously, it's a Toyota Supra. One to 62 scale. It's one of the nicer Supras out there, I think. But, you know, that's not saying much because there aren't a lot of them. Uh, Tomica Limited Vintage did a really nice one, but it's an earlier model. And same thing with Kyosho. But anyways, there is one. And I've had it. I had it a year and a half ago, and I traded it done that a few times traded cars and regretted it and uh when you do that best thing to do is to track track the car down again and uh, so that's what i did although this one i don't think i got as lucky this time as i did with the last one um so i don't know if you guys are familiar with a brand there's a brand called Tamiya, and it's a lot like Aoshima in that they specialize in 1 to 24 scale model kits. But like Aoshima, they did put out a small assortment of, um, of 1 to 64 scale diecast. Aoshima actually does it regularly, and they're still making cars, whereas Tamiya... I don't believe is. I think they just kind of dabbled in it, kind of like, uh, kind of like what uh, Auto Art did. So, anyway, so they're Tamiya. Um, just to show you guys, they do come in an acrylic. Which now that I have it out here. I'm a huge fan of Toyota cars in general, so it only it's only natural that I'm a fan of Toyota diecast, and partly because there's not a whole bunch of it out there, so it's really hard to find. But these Tamias come in a little acrylic like this with the uh, black box, and I have to tell you guys this right here is an amazing little car it's not perfect it's not perfect but it's not too far off now it is black so my camera hates that but i love it although if there were a silver one i'd probably get the silver one just to bring out the detail but this is definitely a nice step up from the Tomica Premium. This one, like the Tomica Premium, this has a plastic base. But you do have rubber tires with tread. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's plastic. But the car is... I mean, it's really nice. It's a really nice die-cast car. And it it's just displays phenomenal. It's going to look great in the Carney case with all the other Toyota cars. So there's your front-end transparent lens headlights, which you do get with the Tomica Premium <clears throat> here. On this one, you get a little Tampo taillight detail. You do get opening doors on the Tomica, but you also get that on this one, which is probably one thing that if I could change something, I would probably change that. But with it being black, if there are any flaws with the alignment of the doors or anything like that, they're going to be hidden because all the shadows are hidden. But this right here is really what separates this car from 
really from any other Supra that's been done. I know Racing Champs did one. I think Ravel did one. Um, I have a Racing Champs, and it's it's a nice little casting, but the Tomica Premium, I think, is nicer. But this is just way nicer. Transparent lens taillights with reverse lights and indicators. You've got the rear spoiler, side view mirrors, prototypical wheels, rubber tires with tread. And as I said, this one does have opening doors and a very highly detailed interior. I don't know if I'll be able to get that to show up, but probably from a, from a casting standpoint, for, as far as the interior goes, um, it's probably one of the most detailed interiors I've seen, the way the cluster, I mean, you can even see back and look at the vents, you've got the, uh, the shifter, the seats, it's just a lot of accurate replication going on in this car. It is a right hand drive. Doors close up really nice. So it's not a cheap car, but I mean, it's not like, you know, it's not going to set you back like the auto art Bugatti is, but it is a chunk of change. It's going to be more than what you would pay for your average Tomica limited vintage car, which those on average are around 25. <clears throat> Some of the uh, more desirable models can go up from there but um, some of the cheaper models are around 15 the average models are probably around 25 and then you know they can go anywhere for the nicer more desirable castings anywhere from 40 to a couple hundred and this one right now it, I paid 35 <coughs> there were only two listed on eBay one in California, one in New York. They were both the same price with shipping. I purchased the one in California for two reasons. Number one, it's a lot closer to me, so shipping wouldn't take as long, which honestly was a secondary factor. The main reason I purchased from California is because of the climate. This car comes with a rubber band around it to hold the doors closed. And the car came out in 2005, so that's 13 years that this has had one of these crusty Hot Wheels rubber bands on it. This is part of the rubber band that I pulled off. And I figured California being a drier climate, there'd be less damage to the paint. And I figured, you know, up in New York with the humidity that it might have cause more of a reaction between the rubber band and paint. The last time I bought this car, it shipped from, I think, Japan, or it was either Japan or Hong Kong, and the rubber band came right off. There were no issues. But with this one, there were definitely issues. And there are still a couple of small scars to show for it, but you can see they're on the roof. But not, not real bad. I mean, it's still going to display really, really nice. So that's why I say anytime you get a car that has rubber bands in the packaging, you've got to open that car and save that car. Because if you don't, that rubber band is just going to eat away at it slowly. But anyways, uh, if you're looking for a really nice Toyota Supra, this is definitely the one to get. Just an unbelievably nice die-cast car. It's pretty much perfect, true to scale. Looks amazing. We'll do a little, uh, do a little 
go around here. And then I brought some other little Toyota cars out that we'll take a look at. And after this, I promise I'll lay off the Toyota a little bit. I know I show a lot of Toyota because I'm a fan of Toyota. Um, but this, this one here, this is not a car you're going to see very often. I don't know how many of these were made, but I, it was limited production. I, I want to say it was under 5,000. Just beautiful casting, though. Other than the opening doors, the only complaint... I think it might set just a little bit high. But because of the color, it's so hard to tell. So it's not even worth griping about it. I just love the car though. They did such a great job on this car. All right, so let's take a look at a couple other Toyota cars that I brought out for the video here. Um, well, I guess the closest other car that I have to that is this Celica, as far as like body style goes. Um, I think that Supra is a 93, and this Celica here I think is a 1990, if I remember correctly which I don't but this is a Konami little Konami casting really nicely done accurate OEM wheels lens headlights and taillights side view mirrors rubber tires with tread look at the interior look at that back seat It looks like cloth, but obviously it's not. But the detail is so nice that it gives you almost gives you that cloth interior effect. Super nice. Got your rear window wiper. I apologize for the shaky camera. So Konami is another one of my favorite brands to collect when it comes to uh, Japanese import, especially with Toyota, because Konami is probably the brand that has the most uh, or best selection of Toyota castings outside of Tomica Limited Vintage definitely a better selection of castings than Kyosho. And a lot of really cool, like, unique cars, too, like the Toyota Starlet. Um, this one here, this is a Toyota... Uh, I guess just a Toyota Carina. It's an older release from Tomica Limited Vintage. It's probably actually the oldest Toyota or the oldest Tomica Limited Vintage casting that I have. I think it came out around 2008, but I could be wrong. It's a very nice little car, though. I like these old Japanese. You know, I know you know a lot of guys they want to restore a car and they want to restore an American muscle car. I don't think I would do that. I think I would uh, I would do something Japanese. Great detail in this car and these wheels are just so well done. 
little Toyota hubcaps. Um, okay, so that's the Karina. For some reason, I thought that was a Corona. It's definitely a Karina. Maybe this next one is the Corona. Yep. Mark II. So Corona Mark II 1900. And this one is a nice one. I've got a uh, Konami Corona too that's kind of similar to this, but it's a little bit older model, I think. But there's no doubt the Tomica Limited Vintage is much nicer. Those headlights. These things have crazy interiors too. Like this one here. I don't know if I can get it to show, but there's like a wood. It's like a there you go. A wood console. isn't anything that compares with Tomica Limited Vintage. I know a lot of people hate on that brand, but I think they just hate it because the price. But they are worth, they're worth every penny. I mean, you pay 25 bucks, but you get a $25 car. It's not like M2 where you pay six bucks and you get a $3 car. This <clears throat> this is a Toyota Crown custom van. You ought to remember back in the 60s and 70s, the uh, Japanese station wagons were not called station wagons or even wagons. They were called vans. And Hot Wheels kind of made a goof on that with that new Skyline wagon. And... Uh, that's why the next release that you see it, it's going to be called the Skyline Van. For some reason, I think with the 510, that one was always known as a wagon. But pretty much the rest of them, <clears throat> like all the Skyline wagons, or Skyline vans, you know, they're calling this a van. So I don't know, I don't know the reasoning behind that, but... In the U.S., this for sure, without a doubt, is a station wagon. Man. Um, little trivia. They, when they came out, wagons, they came out in the late 50s, I think. And then they got really popular in the late 60s, into the 70s, all the way even into the 80s until the minivan took over. But they were called wagons, and then they kind of developed the name Station Wagon. And a lot of people speculate that they are called Station Wagons because of gas prices. And you're always at the gas station. But that is not why they are called Station Wagons. Although, <clears throat> although it definitely fits. I like this one a lot. This uh, is like a guacamole green. This color was the more desirable color. That's one thing with TLV. Anytime they release a car, they'll like Auto World, they do it in two colors. Uh, like that new EK9 Civic, they released it in white and silver. And then later on, like a month later, they released it in black and yellow. The, the popular colors, the black one and yellow one, are worth double right now 
what the white and silver one are worth. And this one isn't quite double. The, the other color for this was silver. I don't think it's quite double. I think you can get the silver one still for around 25 or 30, but this one is closer to 50. So it's funny how that um, the market kind of dictates that. But I think that they're fairly limited production too, though. Now this van has been released previously with uh, some other colors, I think. But this color is just too cool, man. And I had a choice between this and silver. And normally I would go with silver, but in this case I had to get the, the guacamole green because it's just such a, such a, like, um, I don't know, it's like a throwback color to the late 60s, early 70s. wonder if the year, they don't put the model year on the base on these cars. Some of them do have it on the box, but not all of them. But anyways, um, that's, that's the video tonight. I really just wanted to show this Toyota Supra. And I thought, well, since we're going to look at that and I don't have anything else, that maybe we'll take a look at some other detailed... Toyota castings, so Corona, Crown, Supra, Celica, Carina, Supra. This stuff is all for sale right here, along with the uh, Bugatti and Celica. But all right, well there you go. There's only one of these left on eBay right now, so. Should go grab it before it's gone. All right, everyone. It's good talking to you, as always. Have a great Tuesday. Don't work too hard. Happy hunting. And I will holler at the next video.